Mm-hmm. Uh, Nils, I'm I'm interested in the the uh, the the scope of mm-hmm. work that that you outsource at one time. So, um, mm-hmm. are, are you looking? So, give me some typical deliverables. So, you you're going to a CDMO um, to quote unquote develop a process or or get you to where you can make api or your first gmp batches whatever it is mm-hmm. um give me an give 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 the attendees an idea so are, are you uh, is your scope narrow and then another contract um but 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 even more than that what what are some typical deliverables you want from the cdmo um for from each contract Right. Oh, very good question. Well, we typically have a master services agreement with a vendor that we would, you know, want to do this work with. But uh, and, and under that, there are various SOWs, so, so scope of work, and and it could be typically it's not for the entire program. You know, deliver, you know, 200 grams for uh, our preclinical studies. Uh, it could be that, but. Uh, Typically, this uh, rather quickly um, kind of multiplies into smaller bits and pieces. For example, it could be in the analytical chemistry area uh, to develop, uh, maybe try to optimize even uh, certain analytical tests that are needed to um, uh, control the uh, or monitor the process. And uh, uh, yeah. So, so, so various various bits and pieces of, of the whole, so to say. That's uh, that's a fairly typical approach, and it's not the un, one one giant uh, scope of work that includes all of these uh, pieces. So, I would say for us, uh, both now and in the past, there are probably several of those like subunits that they kind of take. They don't take on a life of of, of their own because it all has to come together. Uh, uh, under a certain timeline, uh, but uh, they might be managed internally by, for example, uh, our subject matter expert or expert team in the analytical chemistry arena. So, um, yeah, so I think that's that's kind of how, how I'm used to doing that. Yeah, uh, Andre, do you do you also subscribe to the bits and pieces type of development uh, contracting or? Or a relationship? Well, let me put it this way. Uh, if you are in small pharma, you don't have a team, right? Maybe just represent as standalone uh, and conduct in one section of, of the company, right? Then the best thing is uh, if you don't have enough expertise, like um, you mentioned before, biologics and the cell therapy, gene therapy, and new trends, right? Emerging trends, right? Um, then you just hire a consultant, uh, consultant on your on your side, right? You are in charge with a CDMO, but you know, share the data and ask, you know, all the advice for a person who has experience, right? And that means you will make the proper decision and not uh, not accept everything because if you don't have expertise, you don't know, right? Uh, if the data will stand up the FDA scrutiny, right? And that's its one. And bits of spe- uh, definitely the master service agreement says whatever the company agrees with the CDMO and is. Uh, drafted by the legal team and the QA and everything else, you have little to say in that service agreement as a scientist, right? But you have to a lot of to say into the scope of work, and that is technical. You execute this, right? Do this, uh, validate this, write a report which can be put into the ECT document. FDA proof, right? So I don't have to rewrite it, right? And then at the end of the day, you give me all the data, your QA will sign off on the data, right? And because we qualified you before, I accept your QA signature, right? As an accredited lab, I take it and my QA will sign off on the cover page that is coming 
from the sponsor when you submit to FDA and you're fine. Okay? So definitely you have to be very, very specific on scope of work, right? What are the deliverables, including timeline, right? And if that is not met, what do you do? In the case of this, the company, blah, 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 should be sort of, of reinforcement somehow and not accept whatever it is. Oh, that's it, you know. And talk to everybody. Talk to scientists who are and definitely on the weekly meeting. The team should be you as a leader, your team, right? Present in the video conferences if you have a team, their project manager and their team. So we can ask everybody questions. Oh, you did these experiments in the lab. How did you do it? Oh, I put it in the hood. It was exposed to the light. What if your drug is light sensitive? Mm -hmm. Right? And right. you interpret data. Oh, the compound is not stable. No, it degrades during analytical testing. Mm -hmm. And having said that, because somebody mentioned about analytical, uh, always make sure the analytical methods are in place because your data is good as your measurement. If you're not trust analytical method, you start to interpret artifacts, and that's not bad. 